Justin, it appeared in your first at bat that you got uh, your thumb jammed, I believe, but it didn't seem to matter in uh, the second and third at bat. Obviously, it didn't seem to affect you that much. Are you are you all right? Yeah, it was actually that ball pool holes hit. Uh, okay. Went, went to my left and didn't really get any leather on it, more thumb than, than anything. So, uh, but yeah, I'll be fine. Obviously, uh, stayed in, felt pretty good. You come into the game with two home runs. You leave the game with four, um, double in your total. How nice was it to be able to capitalize on those two situations? Yeah, you know, I don't think that I ever thought about doubling my home run total in the end of September, but um, yeah, it felt good. This is a little bit of a strange year, Justin. It's okay. What is it about that three hole? You jump, you jam your finger. Edwin Rios jams him, but he hits a home run when he takes over for you. Yeah, he actually the ball Rendon hit kind of did the same thing that um, Pujols this ball did to me. Uh, we have matching tattoos on our thumb, and I told him, uh, "Hey, those have homers in them." And sure enough, he went up and, and hit a homer. So maybe that's the trick. There you go. Thank you, JT. Next question from Jamie Go ahead. Yeah, Justin, what, what would you like to do as far as playing time at bats, playing time in the field with these last two games of the season to get ready? Uh, whatever Doc wants me to do. I mean, I feel good. Um, just get out there and take whatever he wants me to do and, and uh, feel good rolling in the postseason. And, uh, you feel like you could be a nine inning third baseman from here on out, no need to DH or anything like that with the lack of days off going forward? Yeah. Okay, cool. Thank you. Next question is from Dylan Hernandez. Go ahead. Hey, Justin. Um, you know, it's kind of a big picture question here, but, um, you know, obviously this was kind of a short season. You guys had to kind of come in, right, ready to go from the start. I was just kind of wondering, you know, what you thought, you know, Dave Roberts' role was and just kind of, you know, I know you guys have a certain culture here, but kind of maybe his role in kind of making sure you guys got off to the kind of start that you guys did, you know, when, when that was necessary. Uh, his role in for the season? Yeah, and just, to, and just kind of in terms of kind of setting that sense of, you know, because obviously this was kind of a sprint, right, as opposed to, you know, um, yeah, I mean, I think everyone knew it was a state coming into this. We knew it was a shortened season, and we knew, uh, you know, we had to get off to a good start. And, you know, Doc's a positive guy, um, upbeat, and, uh, you know, he's kind of been that way all along. So, um, yeah, I, I obviously uh, don't want to come into the season worried or uh, careful, uh, but, you know, just excited to get on the field and play and, uh, we got a good club, so uh, I think we've we've showed it so far this year that uh, we're, we're a pretty good team. Thank you. Next question from Ken Gernick. Go ahead, Ken. Justin, it, it seemed that the uh, injury kept you out a little longer than originally uh, we were led to believe. Was that because of the severity of the injury, or was it partly to, to just protect you um, so that you'd be ready for the postseason and then just uh, come in the last week to get in sh to get uh, sharp? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, it was kind of a, a twofold thing. Uh, a couple days before I tweaked my hammy, I got hit in the hamstring um, uh, against Colorado. Freeland hit me in the hamstring. So it was kind of like a combination of getting the, the bruising out of there. It was one of the one of the better bruises I've had, I've had a lot of them uh, right in the back of my hamstring and then it started draining down in the back of my knee and then it started draining down in my calf. So it was trying to take care of that and come back from the little tweak in the hammy as well. So I think I actually uh, probably recovered faster from the tweak in the hammy than I did from the bruising uh, that was in the back of my knee and the back of my hamstring. Okay. Got time for one more, go ahead, Jack. Justin, you've seen, um, I mean, Mookie up close for a year. You've seen, you've seen Mookie up close for a year, but also in that World Series a couple of years ago. Um, what kind of dynamic, dynamic does he add for you guys specifically in a postseason setting? 
I mean, the same dynamic you guys have seen all year long. He's a, he's a table setter. He's a spark plug at the top of the lineup. He takes good at bats. Uh, he can score runs in so many ways. Uh, you know, he's in scoring position when he's, when he's in the box. And then if you put him on, he can steal bases. He can take extra bases. Uh, we saw the play in Colorado. I think it was the other night um, going second to home on a pickoff. So he just energizes the offense at the top of the order. And, and I think we've been clicking on all cylinders uh, since they put him in that leadoff spot. And, and the offense has been, been going from that day on. Thank you.